Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the seventh episode of Beat the Bench Trivia. Uh, this is a very, very special episode because we have two brand new teams. Two brand new teams showing face today on one side. We got the, uh, the Culture Kings themselves understanding every thread that goes into jerseys. It is Ben Buckets and TFTB Smalls from the vault. What's up, guys? Thanks for jumping on. What's going on, baby? I'm I am pumped. I'm bad at trivia, but I am good at showing up. I feel to like things. you know random stuff, Ben. I do. I know a lot of random facts, and like it, that's. I think I have a vault of useless knowledge in my head. So uh, let's see if keep I it can coming. Keep it coming. Yeah. Dad jokes. Dad <laughs> like, jokes. Keep it coming. <laughs> oh boy. On the other side of here, we have uh, who we are. We are titling the genius because you want to go solo dolo, Greg, and your partner is Pablo Sanchez. Hey, that's that's all I need in my life. The greatest backyard baseball player ever and me. Like, what more could you ask for? This show, Beat the Bench Trivia, is recording today from the Union Fitness Studios located on the North Shore of Pittsburgh. Union Fitness is more than a traditional gym. It is a place where you can transform yourself inside and out with a variety of classes based around fitness, yoga, strength, and performance training. At Union Fitness, they believe that it is their duty to hold themselves and their clients to a higher standard. They practice what they preach and uphold the values that make Union Fitness the community that it is. Go to unionfitness.com today to sign up for a consultation. Through Union, there is strength. Gentlemen, Beat the Bench is a simple game. I will ask trivia questions. There are ten categories, two questions in each category. Uh, you will alternate, which I will get that set up now. Greg and Pablo, you will be team one, just so you are aware. And uh, the vault, you guys, will be team two. All that means is Greg is going to get the first question on the first category. You guys are going to get the first question on the second category. Uh, that way it just breaks up who goes with each one. Two, four, six, eight, ten for the vault. And the genius is one, three, five, seven, nine. Uh, you guys are unable to see on your screens right now, but there's also a Two Beers Deep logo next to you. And what that means is you can double. The only power-up we have right now is the double. If you double a category... You are only doubling your question unless the other team does. If Greg doubles a question and misses it, the vault has a chance to steal for two points. So the question is always doubled, even on a steal. Boys ready to go? Yeah, yes, sir. I just want to say it's a cocky move that Greg wants to go by himself. So, <laughs> like, I, I see you. Like, it, we're, we're coming for you because I took I took that as a slight. I'm just going to let you know. As, as I told you, man, as long as I don't do the worst score compared to some other teams on our show, I'm happy. Shout don't out be Cody nice. Chance. Don't be nice. Shout <laughs> out Cody Chance. Uh, I will say there might be only one other person right now that could hold his own on a team by himself, and that is the current league MVP, Andre Fry, who has been on fire lately. So, Greg, let's see what you got. Can't show up on time, though, to stuff. But Can't still. show up on time. Vo missed today on time. So, all right, wow. guys. Genius, you get the first question in category one. The first category is video games. Would anyone like to double? What's no. that, Pablo Sanchez? You would like to double? Well, okay. <laughs> Pablo says no. Pablo says no. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so no doubles. Greg, this question is for you. Category video games. Apologies to everyone there for a quick delay. We are back. Greg, your question, you have 30 seconds to answer. Who was the cover athlete of NFL Street 2? Ooh, uh, I'm going to say Mike Vick. Final answer? Final answer. Incorrect. Vault, you have 15 seconds. Who was the cover athlete of NFL Street 2? So, Ricky Williams was one. Chad Ochocinco was three. Who was two? Smalls, do you know? Uh, I don't know why. I'm thinking Five, Steve Smith. Four, three, two, one. Any Steve Smith. Was? Steve Smith Sr. That is incorrect. The correct answer is Jeremy Shockey. Jeremy Fuck. Shockey is catching that a ball so over sense. his exhibit. Wow. That makes so much sense. All right. Vault, you are up right now. Your question, you have 30 seconds once I finish. Who was the first athlete on the cover of MLB The Show, 2006? Oh, 2006. I'm trying to think of Either? who... Was it Jeter? Is that your final answer? Let's go with that. that is Derek Jeter. Incorrect. Greg, who was the first athlete on the cover of MLB The Show 2006? You have 15 seconds. I'm going to guess Joe Maurer. Final answer? Final answer. Incorrect. It is Big Poppy. David Ortiz. Damn. Oh. Big Poppy. Uh. 
All right, after a couple hitches in the first category on my part, boys, it's been a long day. Apologies there. We come out of the first one, 0-0. Zero, zero. Technically, even though, Greg, your answer was somewhat correct, the cover athlete of Madden 99 was Big Fat John Madden. So that's where the confusion comes that's from. That's fair. Okay. That's fair. I, love I would it. consider him an athlete still. <laughs> 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 All right, The Vault, this is going to be your first uh, question here. The category is movies. Movies. Would anyone like to double? Not now. Okay. Greg, you doubling? Nope. Perfect. All right, Vault, you got 30 seconds, boys. What was the first movie Dwayne The Rock Johnson starred in? Oh, Benny, I want to say it it's, it might be The Rundown. That's what I was thinking, but I don't know for sure because I also feel like wasn't The Mummy early on for him? It was, but... Ten seconds, boys. I don't know how. I don't know when that came out, though. I feel. Mm, I'm feeling like it's the mummy, Five, but I could be wrong. Four. All right, let's three, let's go. With, let's go with the mummy. Final the answer. Mummy. All right, the mummy. Final yep. answer. That is incorrect, Greg. You have 15 seconds. What was the first movie Dwayne the Rock Johnson starred in? I believe it was. I think it was the Mummy Two. Is that your final answer? Final answer incorrect technically it was the second mummy movie it is called the mummy returns it is called oh. the mummy returns okay very close greg okay yeah. so we were both right you guys <laughs> just uh, <laughs> you theoretically so, this was the second mummy movie so greg's kind of right you guys took the first one which is I don't, still very close i i still i don't really keep up on the mummy franchise so i'm i'm apologies for I, not knowing the name of the movie Smalls, you're, you're not a big brennan fraser guy <laughs> no <laughs> No, no, his best performance was definitely in Scrubs, and that's that's about it. So. Oh, I forgot he was in Scrubs. Jesus. In right. Man, Monkey Bone? Come on. <laughs> or to the Jungle? Hell. Greg, this question <laughs> is for you. Uh, the category is movies. You have 30 seconds once I finish here. What movie won Steven Spielberg his first Oscar? Uh, I'm going to say E.T. Final answer? Final answer. That is incorrect. Vault, you got 15 seconds. What movie won Steven Spielberg his first Oscar? That sucks because that's what I was going to go with. Um, was is This is, oh man, this can make me sound like an idiot, but is Jaws a Steven Spielberg movie? Five. I mean, four, let's go with it, Jaws. Three. Jaws. Final answer? Yep. Yeah. That is incorrect. Fuck. Schindler's List. It was Schindler's oh, List. Wow. Oh, Liam. Jaws is a Spielberg yeah. movie, Ben. Okay. <laughs> I was also thinking Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I thought, to yeah, see, like, yeah. these are all things that, like, I think I know, but because we're in a trivia atmosphere, like, I second guess everything. Welcome I, to Beat the I Bench. I forget everything yeah. I know to be fact. <laughs> all right, guys. The score is zero to zero here. Zero to zero, heading into the third category. The third category, boys cartoons cartoons the genius will have the first shot at the questions would anyone like to double cartoons nope mm -mm. okay no greg category three first question is yours what is the dog's name from tom and jerry oh god uh it's not like uh it's like bruiser or something is that your final answer Final answer. That is incorrect. Vault, you guys got 15 seconds. What is the dog's I mean, do you name know from it? Tom and Jerry? I, I'm not saying that this is concrete, but I think it's Butch. I, let's, that sounds right. Let's I go think the it. dog's name is Butch. We'll go Butch. Final Butch. answer? Yes. Final answer. Lock incorrect. In. Fuck, dude. The dog's name is Spike. 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 A recent movie dropped with Colin Jost uh, where they are uh, live action in New York. It is not the worst movie I've ever seen, but Spike. Spike is the doggy. Spike, where am I getting Butch from? That sounds right, though. No clue, buddy. All right. I was thinking Hector, but that's that's Tweety and Sylvester. Yep. The category remains cartoons. The Vault, this is your question. What is the pet's name in the Wild Thornberries? Mm. Smalls, this is your turn to be wrong, buddy. I have no clue. <laughs> I have no idea, dude. The thing is, I don't either. I don't. I don't remember too much about that 15 show. Fifteen seconds, boys. 
the only notable character is Donnie. That yeah. guy. I don't know. I know the, Nigel. The tech, bro. <laughs> Boys, you got five, four. I, I have three, no idea. Two. Sparky, I, final answer. <laughs> Sparky is incorrect. Greg, you have 15 seconds. What is the pet's name in the Wild Thornberries? I don't know. I didn't watch Wild Thornberries. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess uh, Carlos. That is incorrect. Yeah. He is named after the evolution scientist Darwin. Darwin. <gasps> what it's are these monkey, questions? Isn't it? This. Oh. Yeah, it's the monkey. It is the it was, monkey. Yeah, which I, put I, Dar- I couldn't remember. I spelled it D A W R I N. So. Darwin. This game is this game is bullshit. This game is bullshit. <laughs> I've already gotten yelled at today because Boyd doesn't know the direct chronological order of Marvel movies. All right, boys. So the score is arousing zero to zero, heading into the fourth category. The fourth category. We're still in it. It's competitive as hell. It's That's neck true. and neck. I, this That's might be the true. first Defensive game. Defensive battle. To, the first game I ever have to uh, pull an overtime. We've never had an overtime. So I'll make it up as we go. All right, category <laughs> four is up to the vault. The category is NFL. It is NFL. Would anyone like to double? Not now unless you want to, Benny. No, nah, we'll save it. We'll save it. Yeah. Pablo and Greg? Uh, we're going to save. Save face. All right, The Vault. You have 30 seconds when I finish the question here. <clears throat> Who was the first overall pick the year J.J. Watt was drafted? What year was that? What would that have been, 2011, 2012? Uh... 15 seconds, boys. I feel like it's going to be like a wash pick. Mm. Five, four, three, two, one. No. I have no idea. Okay, we are passing. Greg, you have 15 seconds. Who was the first overall pick the year J.J. Watt was drafted? I think it was Cam Newton. Final answer? Final answer. We are finally on the board. The answer is oh. Cam Newton. Thank God. Cam that makes Newton. Sense. I, I knew it was a quarterback. That's the thing. Derek, I knew it was what, a quarterback. Year, what year was that? Was it 11? What year it was, was it? 11. Right, yeah. That makes so much sense. It, it, I froze. I froze. That makes so much sense. <laughs> All right. So Greg is winning one nothing right now. Greg is up one nothing. NFL, uh, Greg, this is your question. You have 30 seconds from the time that I finish. Who was the first overall pick the year Pat McAfee was drafted? God. Oh, wait. I think I know this. I think. (sighs) 15 seconds remaining, Greg. I'm going to guess... I'm going to guess Alex Smith. Final answer? Final answer. That is incorrect, Vault. You have 15 seconds. Who was the first overall pick the year Pat McAfee was drafted? This is 0809, I believe. Smalls, you got anything. <laughs> I thought it was Jamarcus Russell. Five. What? Four. Three. Let's two. go with it. Jamarcus Russell. Jamarcus Russell. Incorrect. Matthew Stafford. Fuck. Matthew Stafford. 2008. Fuck. All right, boys, we leave the fourth category, the NFL category. I was hoping that would be a big one for you guys swinging. Score one nothing. Greg is up on the vault. A one bad nothing. showing. It's a bad <laughs> showing. This guy. It's all right. Hey, I'm a second-half performer anyway. This is – we'll be all right. So there's still ten points on the board as well as both of your doubles. So we, we still got a lot of game to play. This question is for Greg and Pablo Sanchez. The category is board games. Board games. Would anyone like to double? Nope. Nope. No. All right. Greg, your question. You have 30 seconds when I finish. According to the official rules, how much money does each player start with in Monopoly? Uh, I think it's 1500 Final answer? Final answer. That is correct. Greg is up 2 nothing on the it. vault. It is 1500 I knew that one, too. Monopoly ruins friendships, folks. Oh, 100%. That's why I don't play it anymore, because I have few friends now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Vault, you guys are up. Your question for board games. Invented in 1860, what was Milton Bradley's first board game? 
1860? 1860. Milton Bradley's first board game. Weren't they still beating hoops with sticks back then? I, were there there was board games? I don't know, shoots and ladders. Fifteen uh, seconds remaining. Uh, uh, the game of life. No, of I don't think it was Candyland. Uh, uh, dude, I'm. T- I, I feel game life. Two. Life. Game of life. Game of life. Game game of life. life. Final answer. Yes, the vault is on the board. It is the game of life. All right, a small I doubt it you but good shit buddy that was, that was great <laughs> you were close to getting him away from that one that was a good category for you guys a category that most teams do not get correct so well done i would have expected teams. candy land honestly <laughs> so yeah we had a previous question that airs tonight on uh the episode for candy land which was a hysterical one highly recommend everyone goes back and watches that when this airs it is two to one in favor of greg over the vault we are into the sixth category the sixth category will start with the vault the category is College football. College okay. football. Would anyone okay. like to double? <laughs> Benny, I'm going to say no. You, pal. I, I want to save it so we know we need it, so I'm going to say no. If okay. you don't use it, just uh, to let yep. you know, it just happens at the last category. I got it. That's fine. Save it up. Yeah. Okay, Greg, double? I'm saving mine. Saving it is. All right. Vault, this is your question. 30 seconds once I finish. What college did Julian Edelman attend? Kent, Kent State. Yeah. Final answer. Final answer. Final answer. Kent State is correct. Should have taken a double. <laughs> I know. Fuck. That sucks. <laughs> that ties it up to a piece. Well done, boys. That was the quickest answer I think we've had uh, outside of a category that everyone will see later on. So, Greg, you are up right now. You have 30 seconds once I finish the question. The category is college football. Your question is, what college did Jerry Rice attend? I think I know this. So, oh, God damn it. Um, was it Jackson State? Final answer? Final answer. Incorrect. It is not. Vault Boys, what college did Jerry Race attend? It's either Southern Miss or Mississippi Valley State. Miss. What do you, what's your gut? Five. Mississippi Valley State. Final Mississippi. answer. Final yeah. answer. Yeah, that is correct. It is Mississippi Valley State. Mississippi Valley State. Smalls pulls it out it's here on my turf. Yes, I did not think you were pulling that one out, Smalls. Whew. All right, guys, we get into the seventh category. The seventh category. The score is three to two in favor of the Vault. This will be uh, Greg and Pablo Sanchez's question to start. Would anyone like to double in the category Yinzer Facts? Yinzer Facts. No. Okay, nope. here we go. First question in Category 7. Uh, Greg, you have 30 seconds once I complete. What year did the Pittsburgh Penguins draft Mario Lemieux? Uh, 1984. Final answer? Final answer. The name backs up the knowledge. It is 1984. 1984 That's on the dot. Right. Well done, mm-hmm. Greg. Thank you. Three to three. He ties it right back up. I'm glad to see the points shift in here. Vault, you guys are up right now. Yinzer facts. Here is your question. What year did the Pittsburgh Steelers draft Terry Bradshaw? It's either 70. 71. I like 71. But, again... 15 seconds remaining, boys. I know. Let's, I'm trying let's to go s- 1970. I just read a book on this. 1970. Final answer? Yes. That is correct. It is 1970. Yeah, why was, am I here? Why has Ben here? <laughs> why am I here? Moral support. Yeah, I was only thinking 69 because I think that's when Joe Green went. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Man. He was I, I like just finished a book on this. Ben doing his best to take down the vault's uh, success here today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let's uh, let's just say, Ben, I have a category that everyone has gotten on Beat the Bench that I believe you'll excel in. It is the eighth category of the day titled First Grade. First Grade. The vault will get the first question. Does anyone want to double First Grade? <laughs> Mm, no. 
No. No. no. <laughs> okay, boys. No doubles on first grade. The vault, you are up first. Here is your question. What planet in our solar system is known for having a ring? Okay. Saturn. Final answer. Final answer. <laughs> Lock it in. That is correct. Saturn. Let's go! Betty Buckets does something. He's on the board, team. baby. Betty Let's Buckets go. Is on the board. Five to three. So proud of you, Ben. Thank you, Dad. Okay, <laughs> Greg, here is your question. We should have doubled, damn it. <laughs> First grade. What kind of tree do acorns come from? Um an acorn tree? <laughs> Is that your final answer? Final answer? That is incorrect. Vault, mm -hmm. what kind of tree do acorns come from? It's got to be... Is it it's an gotta oak be... tree? Oak, oak. Yeah. Oak. oak. Final answer? Lock final final answer, oak. It is oak. It Let's is go! Oak <laughs> ben... I could so kick a first grader's ass right now. Ben somewhat this contributed <laughs> once again to his team's success. The score is 6-3 to three in favor of the vault. 6-3. to three. Both teams have both of their doubles and decided yeah! not to do the sixth grade or the first grade category. Let's go! <laughs> All right, boys. Uh, that brings us to the eighth, the eighth category. So we will start with the vault. I believe so. Oh, no, no, no. Ninth category. Apologies. We're in the ninth category. That means Greg and Pablo Sanchez, you will have the first question. The ninth category, boys. Music. Music. Would anyone like to use their double? Nope. It's 10 categories, right? 10 categories. So if you, Greg, you will be using your double in the last category, just to warn you. Uh, ben and Smalls, if you do not use it here, you will use it on the last category. I feel pretty confident. You want to use it? But it's up to you because I have been dead weight for a majority. No, it, let's do it. Let's do it. You are doubling? Double. Doubling. Sure. All right. I'm removing the double logo. The vault's question will be worth two points. Two points. Greg, you get the first question here. Okay. You are down three, so just for the sake of it all, you got to get some, some points rolling here, and a steal would help you a ton, but you are not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Greg, your question. You have 30 seconds to answer after I finish. Matt Skiba is the newest member of what punk band? Uh, Blink-182. Final answer? Final answer. That is correct. Matt Skiba That's joined Blink-182. I do not know who Matt Skiba is. I know of Alkaline Trio, but it's only a softball answer if you know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. All right, boys. We are looking at six to four. Six to four. This is a double. If the vault does not get it, Greg will have a chance to steal two points and tie the game. Vault boys, your question is, what band can brag that their lead singer was a part of a major comic book series? Uh, 30 Seconds to Mars. Final answer? Yes. yes. That is correct. Just, they hit their Jared double. Leto. Jared Leto. Well Easy. done. This little man wants to talk about a softball question and then answers that quickly. Huh, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> that puts it up to eight to four. That does mean the vault is the winner, but we are going to dive into the last category here. Yeah, I'm playing for pride at this point. So. Playing for, you need this two points, Greg. That way you don't end with uh, five or you can finish with six and tie the uh, second lowest. That was a tough yeah. sentence. You haven't had much help from your partner either. Pablo hasn't yeah, done really. shit all <laughs> So He's sleeping. He's just good at backyard baseball. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Greg is doubling this last category. Uh, so I'm removing his beer logo. Guys, the last category here will be the first question for the vault. The category is thoughts from the bench. Thoughts from the bench. Here we go. Vault, you have 30 seconds. What was the first jersey covered in a blog titled The Vault? Ooh. For real? <laughs> <laughs> the first like one. Like the, the first one? When you look at the blog, it is the first jersey. You have 15 seconds. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> oh, no. It's five, four. Iowa three, Hawkeyes. Two. That's not it, but. Incorrect. Greg, you have 15 seconds. What was the first jersey covered in a blog titled The Vault? I'm not going to know this. Um, I mean, was it Notre Dame? Final answer. That ain't Final answer. That's incorrect. The correct answer 
a Houston Oilers Warren Moon that jersey. Should... Wow. A Houston Oilers that. Warren Moon jersey. <laughs> Probably I'm ashamed of I, I don't look to the past. I don't look I don't okay. dwell on the past. Wow, okay. That, that's a good save. Look to the that's future. a good save. All right, guys. The last question of the day. This is to get Greg to six points. He has doubled. If not, Vault, you guys have a chance to get to ten, which is the second highest score we've seen on Beat the Bench so far. Here was the question, Greg. You got thirty seconds after I read it. In an unreleased video, who won the first ever TFTB field goal kicking competition? Uh, my co-host on Two Beers Deep, Deke. Final answer? Final answer. Sadly, to my pride, that is incorrect. <laughs> Vault Boys, for two points, who won the first ever TFTB field goal kicking competition? The video is unreleased. Denny. Final answer? Degenerate yeah, Denny, final answer. Let's go with it. That is correct. It is Degen Boom. Den. Degen Den technically beat me despite us kicking uh, again afterwards, and I put forth the farthest kick. But that little shyster technically beat me technically. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, we have a uh, – we might have to change your name from the genius, Greg. A 10-4 to 4 whopping from the vault here today. But uh, I hope you guys – He ain't know. no Mark Madden, that's I, for sure. No, I'm not Mark. I don't claim to be, so. <laughs> On your screen right now is the winners of tonight's show, the vault boys. Gentlemen, you put up a wonderful performance. Feel free to give a little speech. I'm going to let Arbol all – Yeah, go ahead, Ben. I Real quick, uh, wanna wanna down talk our opponents, not Greg, because I love Greg, but fuck you, Pablo Sanchez. You suck <laughs> at trivia, okay? I bet you didn't know there was a ring around Saturn. No, no versatility. You, you know, listen, we uh we had to dig deep into our memories of things that we didn't know in the first place, and uh, we somehow came out on top. But we're ready for for whoever's next. Whoever's it, Andre, bring it. Chip, bring it. Austin and Vo. Austin, bring it. Vo, just be there. Um, but <laughs> we're we're super pumped, ready to go. We're steamrolling now. First victories, check marked. I want I want you, Dre. You you were coming after me for stealing your uh, your fantasy football music. You know, no, fuck off. I'm coming <laughs> for you. You think you're hot shit, knowing all the all this trivia. I'm coming for you. All right. Yeah, Benny, you're coming for you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys very much uh, for being on. You'll definitely be back on once we record the next round of these. I hope you had some fun today. Uh, we'll figure out all your next matchups and anything. And if you guys really do want to face a team specifically, I mean, I feel like Greg might want to attack Rank King's Court next. We will uh, happily oblige. All right, boys. Well, Go ahead. I appreciate you having us on. Yeah, yeah. this is a lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks for having us on. Good thank boys. you, sire. All right, we'll catch you guys later. This has been Beat the Bench, Episode 7. See you soon.